The day started early with the site already mostly staked. But we still needed to place a few more stakes, so as the morning fog cleared, Sherry and I got going. The footings are about two foot wide, so we just wanted to get things within an inch or so. The boys were helping by raking away the bulldozer tracks. David is pretty much just playing with the rake at this point. The guys from Dicer Concrete arrived and started to work on the garage while we finished up the stakes on the south side of the house. Let's speed this up. The garage perimeter is about 200 feet, and the rest of the house needed about 350 foot of curved boards and 400 linear foot of straight boards. The straight boards are 2x12s, and the flexible ones are half-inch thick lap siding. This bedroom side of the house is mostly straight boards. The inside radius of the bedroom apps was too tight to curve the flexible lap siding board. It ended up breaking, so we went with uh, piece wise linear. They started leveling the tops of the footings, and it became clear that we would need to bring up the ground level a little. So after they were done for the day, I used my skid steer to dump some sand in the right places. The next day they continued with leveling the forms. I brought in a little more sand with a skid steer. After leveling, Baudilio ran the tamper through that area. Eventually the other guys got back to the garage, but while they were leveling the boards, Bao was removing the inside stakes. and then later putting down the rebar chairs that would help keep the rebar out of the dirt. The garage footing is deeper than the rest of the footings, so they needed to dig some trenches. We're going to pour the garage slab floor at the same time as the footings, but the middle only needed to be 4 inches thick, so I took a break from my employment in the trailer to help out by moving a few tons of sand with the skid steer. But then I had to go back to work for a few hours. Here they're putting sand up against the outside of the forms to help resist the lateral force of the concrete. They should have used more stakes. Here you can see the rebar going in. About 2,000 linear feet of number 4 rebar went into these footings. Eventually when my workday was done, I came back to help finish moving the sand. But the main camera battery died. The other camera caught a glimpse of me using the skid steer to unload a ton of rebar in about 2 minutes, and then everyone went home. 